So we've got in a 2020 RS6. It's pretty much brand new. Um, it's only done 2,000 miles. So we're going to be remapping this up to 710 horsepower. It's using the MG1 ECU, 4 litre V8 twin turbo. So this is the ECU here. Uh, on auto tuner, it's got an option to do this vehicle via EVD or on the bench. Uh, it's not a possibility on Kez at the moment with it being so new. So what we're going to do, we're going to get connected up and uh, read the ECU. So as always, we've got it connected up on the uh, Tailwind 130 battery support unit. And I'm going to do the car through the OBD port using the auto tuner. So I do, we'll go through to the software on here and show you how to select the right vehicle and perform the remap. Loaded up onto the auto tuner, go to ECU operations, go down to Audi, which is just here. Audi RS6. So you've got the RS6 from 2011 to uh, onwards, and then the Audi RS6 from 2020 onwards. So this is a 2020 car. So it's the Audi RS6 from 2020 onwards, the C8 chassis. We've got the um, MG, MG1S008 uh, is OBD. So we press on this one. Select the OBD option and ID the ECU. So make sure the ignition's on, which it is. Make sure the battery support unit is connected, which it is, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the software here. 12.6 um, volts is a stable voltage. So press identify. And that identifies the ECU. Bring up all the information. After we've done that, leaving the ignition on, I'm going to press read ECU. Virtual read. And save the file. So that's now I'm going to do is download the file off the server and give us the original stock file so we can get it tuned. So that's it, it's downloaded the file. Um, took about a minute to download the file, all in all. Um, that's now on the laptop. And if you tune the file itself, you can get it tuned. If you send it, if you send it through the portal uh, to your tuner and get that file uh, rewritten for the remap. So we just finished the tune on the winnels. So it uh, went with stage one power uh, with the speed limiter removed and adjusted RPM limiter as well. So what we're going to do now is write the file to the car. And then we're all done. So we're now at the stage where we need to put the tuned file back on the car. We've done a stage one power tune with speed limiter removal and raise the RPM slightly. So to write the file, you need the ignition on on the car, which is done, and the battery support connected, which is already connected. Uh, we click right ECU, which is this button at the bottom. And we're not writing the uh, file from the server, we're writing a tuned file. So what we want to do is go through and select the tuned file. So we've got the tuned file here. Press open. It says, are you sure you want to write the stage one tune with uh, speed limitedly and RPM raised into the ECU? So you're going to press yes. What that's doing now is uploading the file. Um, to the ECU. You might be able to see a uh, little 
it's uploading the file to the to the server and it'll start writing it. You see the little orange bar counting up at the bottom of the screen. So it's just uploaded it to the server. What it's doing now is updating the checksums and preparing to write the file. Just communicating with the ECU now. And as you can see, it's erasing blocks and flashing blocks. So first it erases information to fit new information, and then flashing is it writing the new information into that space. As it goes through, it will erase and flash data to fit the new file on. You can also see in the, um, in the log here that it's unlocking the ECU for OBD, right? So this is doing this call fully OBD uh, without having to take the ECU out and connect through the block connector. The ECU is easy to get to on this car as it's just in the engine bay, so it's a really easy one to do on the bench if you wanted to do it on the bench. Uh, but with the auto tuner, you can do these 2020 cars, which is brand new at this time of filming. Um, the car's only done 2,000 miles. So you can do these sort of cars uh, through the OBD with auto tuner. So I'll just wait for that to finish writing and the battery support unit's kicked in to keep up the voltage. So I just had a quick look at the battery support unit. Um, the radiator fan isn't coming on on the vehicle so it's not taking a massive draw. But it's running at 42 amps um, because it's a big car and um, it's got a lot of ECUs and uh, they all require milliamps or uh, amps so they all, it all adds up so to write the file to have the ignition on on this car um, it requires uh, around about 40 amps so what I'm going to do uh, while it's writing the file is just pause the video here as you can see on the progress bar at the bottom we're around about sort of 25% of the way through um, and then I'll continue it closer towards the end. That's just finishing off now. It's around about 99%. Just finishing the last couple of percent on the writing. So as you can see there it says ECU has successfully been flashed. So it's taken, um, it's not giving me a time on that, uh, but it's taken about five minutes to flash it. So um, that's it all done. What we're going to do now is put the car on the dyno um, and just make sure it's achieving the 710 horsepower and 950 newton meters. Um, and then we can give the car back to the customer. So that's how you use Auto Tuner to tune it. Oh, the RS6 4 litre, um, 600 horsepower on a 2020 using the Bosch MG1 ECU. Thank you.